Hi everyone, this is Amani with Here, There, Anywhere, and I am happy to say that I'm finally back with my handy dandy MacBook. Today we're going to be reviewing this beautiful cabin that we had the privilege of staying in over a weekend during a weekend getaway with a couple of other couples. It was located in Murphy, North Carolina, and it is absolutely beautiful, so let's get into the details. This cabin sleeps up to 10 guests. There are four bedrooms, six beds, and four baths. In total, you will find two king beds, one double bed, two single beds, and one queen bed. Some amenities to highlight are the lovely double patios or balconies that have some amazing mountain views that we had the privilege of taking in while we were there. The sunset and sunrise was absolutely amazing. The backyard is very large and spacious, great for running around if you have little ones. There's a barbecue grill, there's free parking on the premises, a hot tub, a gym area, a game space, and an outdoor fire pit. And just a quick side note in regard to the fire pit, we did end up using it, which it was so much fun. We did s'mores. There is wood available, but that is only if the previous party has left any additional wood from their stay. The owners do not provide firewood for that fireplace. Um, we did end up bringing our own. However, it did appear that some of the previous um, guests did leave their own firewood so it's a bit of the luck of the draw but i would just advise that you guys bring your own firewood if you plan on using that outdoor um, fire place some other rules that you will want to make note of because this is an airbnb check-in is after 4 p.m when you check in the owners will provide you with an entry code that will get you in and out of all of the doors checkout is at 10 a.m there's no smoking allowed no pets no parties or events are allowed at this venue um, in addition to that, additional fees and taxes may apply to your purchase. You have to have a photo ID in order to check in, or I would say in order to book. Um, the property does require stairs and it may be difficult for some guests who have mobility issues. So I would take that into consideration depending on your party. Um, and there are two ring doorbell security cameras so that there is a sense of uh, safety and security measure in place. There is an alarm keypad. The owners do provide all of that information with the person who is booking um, upon booking and of course check-in. The kitchen did come fully stocked with plates, bowls, silverware, any sort of dishware that you would need. There is some bar dish well as well for anyone looking to make a quick cocktail. Each of the bedrooms come fully equipped with linens, pillows. Um, in each bathroom, there is many shampoos and lotions available. There's also a washer and dryer on site to use as well. Now on a personal note, I will say that I did not find the beds too comfortable. I slept in the main master on the main floor in one of the king size beds and I didn't find it to be very comfortable to sleep in but I will say the couches on both the main floor in the living room and the downstairs living room were very comfortable. I fell asleep on them incredibly easily and I think that was the general consensus with our group. Everyone kind of found themselves just kind of falling asleep on the couches um, on a daily basis but I would just keep that in mind again personal preference so as the video continues to play and you guys continue on this visual tour I just wanted to make a note of a few things in terms of proximity to where this cabin is so you're not very far from the Harris Casino there's a Walmart about eight minutes away um, along with some small mom and pop shops and gas stations between there and the Walmart. Now, if you are an outdoorsy person like myself and you're looking for a hike or kayaking or tubing or any sort of outdoor activity, there are some in the area. We did end up going on a hike as a group. Um, there is a hiking trail about six minutes um, from this cabin called the Murphy River Walk. It was really nice and it follows the trail of a river that eventually goes into like a dam, but the scenery is absolutely gorgeous and I highly recommend it. Another popular one in that area is the Piney Knob um, Trail. I did not try it out. However, I did read online that it's a little hard to find in terms of a starting point, but in the event that you do book this cabin or at the very least you go on that hiking trail and you watch this video we would love to know what your experience is in the comments now as you can see we've made our way onto the balcony and turning the corner here is the hot tub and another seating area now that door that you see there that does go to the main master bedroom so the main master bedroom on the main floor does have balcony access
And now we are going over to the additional side of the patio or balcony. And it's more enclosed in the event that there's maybe rain, but you still want to be outside. There's this area that is also accessible right through the kitchen where those two double doors are. Now, the one thing that was disappointing with this cabin was that those heat lamps did not work. Now, whether or not we were supposed to bring our own propane, propane tanks, I'm not sure. But unfortunately, they did not work, so we did not get to use them. And as we continue with the tour, this is one of the entryways. This door here to the left goes into the kitchen directly as opposed to the front of the house. But this garage is not somewhere you can park, so please do not try to park your car in here. But this is actually the game room. There is foosball and air hockey and ping pong. And if you are a gym nut, there are actually some free weights in here as well for you to go in and knock some reps out. But this was an additional space just to come and congregate. There's a TV in here, which I thought was really cool for them to include in this venue. Now we are making our way into the master bedroom, which I referenced previously because it is where me and my husband slept. It is right uh, at the entry of the house. As soon as you come in, it is the first door on the right. Now, as pretty as this bed is, like I said, unfortunately, it was not the most comfortable to sleep in. There is a massive closet. So if you are staying for weeks on end, then you will certainly have more than enough room to unpack and make yourself quite at home. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, why would I make myself comfortable for weeks on end? It's because this space is available to rent to up to 28 days, according to its Airbnb profile. This is the master bathroom. The toilet is separate from the shower and the vanity area, which is always great. The shower itself does have a bench inside of it. There is also a tub that has jacuzzi features in this bathroom. Um, unfortunately, we did not get to use it, but it was very nice to look at. And this is also the vanity area, his and hers setup. Overall, I would rate this bathroom a 10 out of 10. We're now gonna make our way down to the second floor of the cabin. This is where the remainder of the bedrooms are. So there is only one bedroom on the main floor. And again, all others are going to be found down on the second level. Now the second level has a pool table. It has outdoor entry to the lower level balcony, which is also absolutely gorgeous. There is a mini kitchen area with a poker table in it. And this downstairs area is really just setting the vibe for an all time good time, game night, drinks flowing, games going type of ordeal. So this is where a lot of the fun will happen. <laughs> Now we're going to make our way into what I would call the secondary master. This is where the additional king bed is. I absolutely love this room. It was so cute. I love the decor, the ceiling, the bathroom. Everything was just really, really cute. And really the only thing outside of size is what makes it different from the main floor master. But I thought this room was absolutely adorable. We're now going to make our way to what I would call the kids room. As you can see, there is a bunk bed. It's beautifully decorated with fun uh, camp aesthetics and decor. And of course, kids would just kind of find this room to be really fun. 
And this is the last room. This is where our queen size bed would be, of course, for additional space, depending on your party size. So guys, as we come to the end of this tour, I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed it and found it valuable. I hope this helps answer any questions you guys may have for those interested in booking this cabin or those just simply looking to book a cabin. Maybe this is your first one. We thoroughly enjoyed staying here and we would love to know what your experience is in the event that you book this one as well. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, share, save, etc. Thanks guys.